All right, I want you to take a look at some of these weather cameras around central Indiana. Take a look. We're talking about some locations that have cleared out, but there's still some clouds. But I really think the biggest takeaway in this is look at the temperatures, 60s and mid 70s really warmed up. But I've been mentioning that we're going to go on a little bit of a ride here when it comes to our forecast. Now's the cooling down process going to leave some of these clouds in place, but cooling down into the 50s by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight as the front moves through. And that's exactly what's happening right now. It's not going to be a dramatic cool down but it's actually going to get our temperatures a little bit closer to average. So by early morning, we're into the 30s to near 40. We'll warm right back up to the 60s by the afternoon. I think we'll get right to around 62 or so, which is close to our average for this time of year. And then a chilly morning as we head into early Sunday and likely going to see a couple of frosty mornings over the next couple of days as our high temperatures will be closer to average. For college game day, we mentioned this a little bit earlier. Temperatures start in those 40s, but we'll end up in the 50s by the afternoon for Saturday morning in Bloomington. And then looking at the weekend forecast, this is my favorite graphic because it's a beautiful, very typical fall forecast for this time of year. 60s for daytime highs, plenty of sunshine. I know we could use the rain. We've been talking a lot about that, but look at this heading into next week. Wednesday, we're talking about the temperatures surging into the 80s. Now, the latest we've ever seen 80s here in central Indiana is November 1st. So we're getting pretty close to breaking some records here, and it could be that we break a record on Wednesday. But by the time we get into Halloween, I think the next front will be moving through. That's going to get us from 81 on Wednesday down to 72. Still well above the average for where we should be for this time of year. But that is also going to come with the next rain chance. That rain chance, that front will arrive some sometime on Thursday. New model data suggesting that this may be out of here by trick or treat time, maybe earlier in the day on Thursday. By Thursday 5 p.m. this may have passed through. So something we'll keep our eye on. Still plenty of time to watch that as far as the seven day forecast is concerned. It's a big roller coaster here. So from 60s daytime highs on Saturday and Sunday to near 80 by Wednesday. That chance of rain is there on Thursday, but we will fine tune that part of the forecast as it gets a little bit closer and then cooler as we head into the end of next week.